Huh. Is it on? I believe it's on. Hello guys, this, I know. If you don't like Pokemon, I'm sorry. But this is a Pokemon battle, so ha! And this is actually against against my friend Marcus, as you can see. By the guy's name. It's Marcus. And if you get if you watch Family Guy, you'll, you'll get my fortress's nickname. Anyway, he leads off with his Jirachi, and I think it's gonna trick me. And it does. It tricks me a Choice Scarf, which is... Oh, God. Yeah. Now my fortress is crippled. He gets leftovers, and I get a Choice Scarf. Well, now that I'm fast, I set up some spikes. Yay, spikes. I like spikes. Then he goes Stealth Box. Like all. And then I set up some more spikes, I believe. And next turn I switch out, because I'm, I'm afraid of, um... Fire Punch. I, I'm thinking this might be one of those expert about Jirachis. I have one and I like it. I'm going to Swampy to take the Fire Punch. Like a champ. And instead he's just U-turn, so oh well. I don't really care. Just U-turn. But then he goes out into something that I did not expect him to go out into. He goes out into Celebi. And I was like, oh, it's just a Celebi, it's okay. And he knows I have to, and he knows I'm forced to switch out. Because it's a, it's a Celebi, it's a Grass type, and this is a Swampert. Yeah. So, I get some leftovers. Yeah. And he, I switch out, of course. I go on to my Heatran. And this is actually a Choice Scarf Heatran, but he goes Nasty Plot. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, you have the event Celebi that I wanted, but I can't get to it. So, oh well. He goes Nasty Plot. And he thinks I, and he thinks he's faster, so I'm pretty sure he had Earth Power on that Celebi, but I'm actually Choice Scarf, so I'm really, really fast. Yeah. And I go Fire Blast, and of course, it's a dead Celebi. I mean, come on. This is a modest max special attack. A Heatran, so yeah, that's a dead Celebi. Yay! So now I'm locked in the Fire Blast, and he goes out into Vaporeon. And of course I'm locked in the Fire Blast, so I have to switch. So yeah. I go into, what I go into? I think I go into, yeah, I go into Swampy to absorb that, that a, uh, that, um, Surf. But a, uh, this isn't a, uh, a very bad matchup for me. Cause, um, yeah, I have rest on the Swampert, and this is actually, no, I wish, I wish it was a rest talking Swampert, but it's not. It's just a resting Swamper, because I have I actually have a cleric on this team, Guard of War, that I use to two purposes. I just set up Stealth Walk, so I know this thing can't hurt me that much. And then now he goes Shadow Ball, which is eh, it's not even doing as much damage as Surf did. He should just get on surfing, but of course he doesn't. Ignore that sound in the background. And next time I'm just gonna rest off all the damage. So I go rest, and I get all that health back. So now I'm happy. But then this is stupid. Now, I'm not going to say gay, I'm not like that. This is just stupid right here. He goes Shadow Ball and gets a crit. I'm like, aww. Really, I just got all the damage back and then he just gets a crit. Doesn't even do half, though, which is funny. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is my especially bulky Swampert, so, yeah. Whatever. And now I believe I switch into... I have no idea what I switch into. I'll go, I'll go into Mord. Oh, yeah, I was, I was going to explode on him, but then I was like, yeah, I just want some more spikes up. And uh, he goes Shadow Ball, which I resist, of course. And I, yeah, I just want some more spikes up. I, actually, no, that was a misclick. I meant to, I meant to explode on him, but I just press spikes. I don't know why. Just don't harass me. Then he goes Surf and does a freaking butt load because this thing is physically bulky, not especially bulky. Then I go into my a uh, my champ and get the nickname. Yeah, everyone knows what my champs do. I know what my champs do. My my champ does it. There you go. And I go dynamic. Oh no, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I go thunder punch because it's super effective and it's not stab, unfortunately. And I actually, guess what happens next? Yes, I could, I could stay in and two it kill, which is what I do. But then he gets another crit with surf. Yes, watch. He gets another crit. They're like, I can take that. Then it's like going down, down, down. Like wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Nope. He gets a crit. Yeah, another crit. Wow. And then he kills my, my Machamp, and I'm like, aww. So now I go into Heatran. Yeah. And I'm not sure what to what I lock myself. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not sure what to lock myself in I just lock myself in the Dragon Pulse, just to kill it. But a, uh, it lives. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And then, then he gets his Bataya Berry boost. And then he wishes. And now next turn he's gonna protect and get all of that health back. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So right here I should have probably switched into a uh, fortress. 
Oh yeah, I actually hold on. I thought his might not carry protect like some do, but of course it does. I should have switched into fortress right here and just gone and just gone boom. Yeah, actually I think I go into fortress right now. Yeah, I go into fortress right here. I should have gone into this thing last turn and blown up on him. Of course now now he has the stupid Bataya berry and the um, surf and all his health back. He's gonna surf and kill this thing. Oh, uh, buy more. You try your best. Now I go into something. What do I go into? I go into Nino, my friend Nino, because he loves Scizor, and I love Scizor. Scizor's a beast. And I go towards Dance because I'm not sure if I can kill it at th th this point. So yeah, he goes Wish, and I knew he's gonna do that too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know Swords Dance until my stats become awesome. And this is a bulky Swords Dance Scizor. Yes, I love these things. Then I, then, then he then he thinks I'm gonna go Swords Dance again, but I don't. I go Superpower. And that will definitely kill the, kill the Vaporeon, because Vaporeons are more specially bulky than physically bulky. But of course I get the attack and defense drop, which is oh, not not ever any good. That's never good. Now, so after I get some leftovers to cover, he's going to send in his Zapdos. I knew he had it on his team. I knew he does. He always carries his Zapdos on his team. Yes. There's his Zapdos. Stupid shiny Zapdos. Actually, that was his first shiny, his first legit shiny, which is why he like, which is why he loves it so much. Then I go bullet punch. I'm like, get a crit, get a crit, get a crit. Actually, I get the crit. I think the thing is this game. Yeah, I, I get the crit, but it doesn't kill it. Even with the crit, even with the crit, it doesn't kill it. And he goes heat wave and kills my and kills my poor poor Nino. Oh Nino, you tried, but you fail. Actually, guess what? My scissor can live through can live through flamethrowers, but it cannot live through heat waves. Just funny. It lives with like 10 HP through flamethrowers, but not heat waves. It's hilarious. And then I go into Swampert, because this thing has Ice Punch, and I want to Ice Punch it in the face, but I'm still asleep, of course. And he goes Roost, and he's going he's gonna to get all his health back while I'm still asleep. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Yes. Next turn, I think I wake up and Ice Punch. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, I get some leftovers recovery. He's just going to Roost again to get all his HP back. Yeah, I, I hate the stupid Zap does. But here he goes, but next turn he goes into something that I hate even more. Okay, and then next turn I wake up and I go Ice Punch. But then now, next turn he switches out into something else. I hate this even more than, than his Zap does. Just absolutely hate it. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, it's next turn he switches into something else. Because uh, that's not going to do anything to me. And I go Ice Punch. And he sees now that I have the Ice Punch. And it, I don't think it kills his Zap does, actually. No, I don't think it kills it. No, it doesn't kill it. I don't think it would. Next time we switch it out into something that's so stupid. I hate this thing. Okay, I believe... Yeah, I'm right this time. He goes into a, a spirit guide. His spirit guide. And it's his stupid dust no more. And I hate this thing with a burning passion. But he takes a bunch of damage from spikes. And then a bunch of damage from stealth rocks. Because I love entry hazards. Love me some entry hazards. And then I go ice punch again. Obvious, obvious play. And here... He makes a mistake. This is the entire reason why I brought Heatran with me. I think uh, I think I stay in actually and just take it. But if I do, I'll switch out and then Heatran to take this. Yes, I go into Heatran and he loves Will O Wisp a little too much. Just saying. He goes Will O Wisp trying to get the burn on me, and I get the Flash Fire Boost. And from here on, Heatran wrecks shop. He goes completely, completely berserk on them with Fire Blast. And for some reason, okay, I miss with Stone Edge all the effing time. I even miss with a with um air with air slash all the time on my Toga Kiss. But not but not with Fire Blast for some reason. I never miss with Fire Blast. Ever. I have no idea why. And from now on, uh yeah, he sends out Jirachi thinking he might be faster than me. But he's not. And of course, Choice Scarf Heatran for the win. And I think he was going to go away, uh, what was it? Uh, what can Jirachi do to me? Earth Power, that's right. And I think he was going to go Earth Power or something like that. But it's not going to work. So I kill it. And now it's dead. And I, I'm i happy now. Actually, after this match... Oh yeah, he goes into Zapdos. And it takes a buttload of damage from Stealth Rocks. Because of my Ice Punch and a freaking buttload to it. And uh, yeah... It just gets killed by Fire Blast. And at this point, I have like one Fire Blast left. And I'm wondering what his last poke is. I think I know what it is. I think it's his... No, it's not a Celebi. I killed that thing earlier. What is it? I haven't seen his last Pokemon yet. 
Oh, it's a scissor. That's right. It's his scissor. Yeah. And of course, obviously, the thing's gonna get killed. Flash fire boost plus all the spikes and stealth rock damage. Dude, that thing is not living. And he goes bullet punch in. I even I forged resist that, and it doesn't do even. It doesn't even bring me down to yellow. And even though it's life orbed and stabbed and technician boost, uh, it's just not gonna do anything. And I fire blast this, the the um, scissor. And that was actually my last fire blast because of all the pressure. I think Pokemon had. Yeah. So, Marcus, good match. This is the first time I actually beat you because you're really, really hard to beat. And yay! So, buddy, that was really fun. Yeah. So, what do you think of my first Pokemon battle thing? Yeah, my, uh, see right there, you see my team, my Gardevoir. That didn't, that didn't even do anything in this game at all. Like, nothing. Oh, well. Yeah, so, there you go. Actually, he, re he rematched me last game, the second game after this one, and I still beat him. Yeah. Go Heatran. <laughs> Alright, so guys, see you guys later.